Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's your girl Shaleen the Queen and I'm coming to you guys with another day in the life video of an Amazon delivery driver. Uh, let me see if I can hold this, put this up here. Where will I fall? Uh... Alright. So today I had a hundred and well I have a hundred and like forty five, forty six stops. Um same route that I don't like. Um it was the it's the Charlotte Potterville route. And for those of you if this is your first time watching my channel, first off, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video, share the video. We're on our way to two thousand subscribers. So let's get to it. But so yeah, for those of you who haven't seen, this has not been my favorite route. Um, only because, you know, it has detours and everything. And, you know, the detours, they take like 15 minutes to, um, to go around. So yeah, there's that. So 146, I think that's what I said, 146 stops. Um, supposed to be done around about 7 o'clock. I'll see if I can get through get through this a little bit quicker. Um, definitely don't want to be out here that late. It's supposed to rain today. It's already kind of cloudy out. Um, it's 87 degrees. It's going to get muggy after it rains. So I'm trying to knock this out as soon as possible. But I'm currently at this stop. I'm definitely about to clear out my van. Have 15 packages to deliver to this school, I think it is. Um, and a lot of them are oversized. But like this is how my van looks right now and i'm going to show you how it looks you know when i uh do all these stop um not all these stops but when i get rid of all these packages so that's what it looks like now you know a lot of packages so we'll see how it looks you know after i deliver these stops all right gotta put this dolly down oh there we go i know this wheel is kind of not coming out there we go this is why i hate using these dollies now that i took all those packages in i mean shoot you can might see i'm a little bit sweaty now that took a lot out of me um like half of those were definitely heavy packages but i'm about to show you guys what my van looks like now it still looks a little you know compact but those boxes that i took out definitely made more walking room for me so this is what my van looks like after i just load took all those packages in so I definitely like delivering packages like that just for the fact that, you know, so many packages at one stop, it just seems like I get rid of the packages so much faster. But I still have about 100 stops left on the day, so I'm about to get to it. I think I have like 10 stops left and it just started pouring down raining on me. Currently sitting outside of one of my stops because I don't, I mean, I'm 
I don't know, there was a video I did earlier about, not earlier, but like before, about things I don't like, or I don't even know if it was things I don't like, but in the video, I definitely said that I did not like thunderstorms, one, because of the loud noise and the lightning and everything. But look at this. Actually, I don't know if y'all can really see. Oh, it started, it, it'll, uh, wow, can't talk. But it, uh, it's lightened up a little bit, but the wind here is definitely crazy. Like, I feel like if I were to get out right now, you know, I'll probably get blown away. That's how small I am. But, ooh. I don't know if you guys saw that, but there was some more lightning. Um, I hope these customers really don't think that I'm about to get out in this rain and deliver their package. Because I'm about to wait a little bit. Um, I'm ahead of schedule. Not by much, but I'm like maybe 15 minutes ahead. Is this my time to go? Hold that thought. And then when it rains, this is the type of stuff that I deal with. Like, come on now, are you kidding me? Man, last stop of the day. Can I open my door? Uh, all right, not too bad. Hopefully I can just set it on their front porch, which I can. Front door, front porch, cool. you guys so i'm all done with my route today was a pretty easy day i mean i just kind of coasted through um it's currently 6 25 so i mean i took about nine hours eight and a half hours something like that to do the route um pretty much gonna get my full 10 hours today just a little bit shy of it but yeah it's been a good day up until it started raining um yeah the rain i don't know something with the rain when it first started hitting i don't know it just kind of it started making me itch now i don't know if that's ever happened to you guys before but like when the rain first hit my skin when it first started to rain like my skin started to itch and i don't know why i don't know why that is but but today, so that stop that I had to drop off the 15 packages, um, that's one of the reasons why, you know, I kind of got my hours today because, you know, I took, it, it took me about 10, 15 minutes at that stop, not gonna lie. Like I sped up the video a little bit for you guys, but it was getting kind of dark. But um, the video in itself was four minutes and me taking it in, I had to take it in and like three separate trips so i had three separate trips to take it in it was a school so i had to get buzzed in every time of course they were waiting for me but i still had to wait for the door to open and everything so that stop took some time um amazon definitely does not account for like how big and heavy the packages are and it might take you a little bit longer um it did give me a little bit of time to deliver those but at the end of the day, it still put me behind about 20 minutes. And so I had to catch back up. And then on top of that, I had detours and everything, which the detour sent me back another 15 minutes because I had to go around everything. And I just heard, I just need them to hurry up and get that bridge fixed in this area because, 
you know, that's just a time killer. You know, you could be on a good, you could be in a good little groove and everything, and you have to hit a detour, and you know, it sets you back 15 minutes. So that's another reason why I'm finishing kind of late. Um, I was on pace at one point to finish 30 minutes ahead, which I think to end off, I finished like 15 minutes ahead. So not too bad. I caught back up a little bit. Let me turn this light back up. There we go. Caught back up a little bit, but Amazon definitely needs to reconsider some of these routes and how much and how much time they give at each stop, depending on how big and stuff the packages are. Because also when I was dispatching one time, this dude spent 45 minutes at a stop because it was a college and he had about 70 to 80 packages to drop off. And it was his first day driving. So they put it on a nursery route to deliver to a college, 80 packages to drop off. And I think it gave him like 15 minutes or something like that to deliver all of those packages, which is not reasonable at all because you still got to look for the packages then you got to scan them and then you got to make sure like at the end you got all the packages up there because we all know that most of the time drivers scan the packages in the van or at the van which you're not supposed to do you're supposed to uh, scan them at the point of delivery which if you take 80 packages scan them at the point of delivery say you might forget one now you got to run back depending on how far the van is it's going to take some time so amazon definitely needs to reconsider i'm not but yeah all in all you know that's that's a, that's why i'm finishing so late but other than that it's been a pretty good day and you know i'm just going home now you know i get trying to get out of this uh this rain and thunder and everything so make sure if you like the video make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button and make sure you drop in the comments you know what you want to see and we'll go from there peace